Hey guys, it's Omar here. Altair. And Ava, our little cute plant for today. We are going to talk about the new updates for the E-Ray Lab and the Touch 1.2. Yeah. So yeah, in this uh, update, a lot of uh, new features, uh, some minor uh, improvements and bug fixes and some uh, really big ones. Yeah, 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 super, super excited. The biggest thing we actually worked on, and it's probably the first thing I'd like to talk about, which is detection. Um, some of you have mentioned before that you are incapable of, of making the, your touch more sensitive to your press. Now you can customize all of that yeah. from the lab, right here, E-Ray settings, and you drop down menu. It's pretty, pretty freaking cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely you can, uh, increase that at max and then yeah. it will be really hard to uh, attain the max and uh, have a, a minimum threshold really hard to or, or really something really light like that so yeah. with a really light pressure kind of like a touch screen yeah cool and and then and the other thing we also designed is of course we we did a little redesign of the software little tweaks here and there for example here the preview button now it's uh, it's more intuitive. Um, yeah. We also did some factory layout changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we needed to to redo the factory layout for uh, two reasons. Uh, first, because um, we know we we practice and customers and all of that, um, we 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 discover other things. So this one are much brighter. That way, even uh, in the sunlight, you can see the light and uh, still be able to play in live uh, outdoors. So, it's super yeah. cool. You also created these new layouts. Um, well, they're kind of the same layouts, but there's added elements a little now here and there. Here and there. Can you talk more about like what you did for the for the factory layouts? For example, this block right here. Um, yeah, this one. Um, so actually, I think we 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 can have a, like a, a specific video about the factory layout. This one is like one nut, but really good for sound design because yeah. you have all axes enabled. Uh, so you can map a different uh, uh, effect on a different uh, CC. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. It's much more inclusive now, and as as he said before, like now you can be in a in a setting of a stage or even in your bedroom studio, and it literally pops up, and it's really good for your video because yeah. we know we all love to take videos playing this. Um, we also did something really cool, which a lot of people have asked me here. It's about selecting multiple elements. Before there was some of you who were kind of complaining about not being able to uh, scroll through multiple elements and select them, but now thankfully you can just move them as such. Um, it's way more easier than to, for example, if you're making a super small button, some of you creative guys and girls out there or anything in between have been doing some really interesting logos, some artist logos, so if you want to create um, kind of like a painting, instead of moving every single uh, element, now you can just select all of those and move it all, yeah. whether it's a skull, a letter R. Um. So yeah, more customizability, more um, more ease of use, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Tell us more about also the 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 loading and the saving of the, of the projects that yeah. you did. It's a fact uh, that we can save and load your own layouts uh, you get to create uh, your own layout on any of those 16 layouts. And instead of saving one by one and loading them one by one, you can uh, save and load a whole bunch of, of uh, our layouts. So here's an example, like for example, if I'm, uh, I have a show, let's say next week, yeah. and I want to design layouts specifically for that show with the yeah. logo, with the name and everything. So I can work on it beforehand and then save it on my computer. And then when I want, just drop drop it down to the E-Ray Touch and automatically it will load all of the project, exactly. the 16 layouts that exactly. are there. That's pretty cool and easy. Yeah, too. you don't have to do that for each of the 16 of them. So yeah, it's a pretty... Just one file. Yeah, exactly. One file, which is an AR project. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, you will see that. Cool. Let's talk more about um, the USB composite mode, how actually now we can load more than one MPE controller. So if you want two MIDI controllers plugged in, you can have one that's playing an MPE, like the E-Ray Touch, yeah. and have another one like any other MIDI controller that you like, and both of them wouldn't interfere with another. Yeah. One of them would, could be playing MPE, and the MPE feature would not interfere with the non-MPE. Exactly. So that's, that's what we did uh, on this update. I would say that like, you can even um, put like two MPE sync 
at the same time, well, we'll see a tutorial. We'll do a tutorial on it uh, because it's too complicated to do. Yeah, but, to but it's, it's right super here. cool. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now you can basically um, have a whole setup without worrying about interference. So now it's 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 getting more refined. It's it's almost perfect. Not perfect yet, but hopefully we're getting there. We're very excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What else? What else is up in this update? Another feature which is really interesting is about um, the fact that you can, with a button, you can change uh, to go to another page, to go to another layout, basically. So that means you don't have to go through this menu. You just have to have like uh, one button, a PC button, like a trigger. Yeah, exactly. As you can, you can trigger, and it will be, it will, um, it will uh, send you to another, another layout. So, to, to do that, you go here from program change, and it's a preset in program change. Yeah. It's, so layout change, you choose your target layout. If, for example, I want to go to the layout 7. And the alt, you can sh sh go, uh, choose to go directly on the alt layout. So now I can just click that, and I'm on the 7 Period. alt layout. Yeah. That's super cool, because when you're playing live, you have no time to be like... Exactly. Uh, 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 uh. So you just tuck. Yeah. And that, mean, that means that you can um, uh, go through your, all your layout really fast uh, if you, you put uh, your little buttons uh, here on every there. layout and then you move like inception yeah. from one layout to the exactly. other. Exactly. You can cr create like a uh, loop. Uh, you can uh, do pretty, pretty amazing stuff. Ereception. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Me, Ava, and Altair had a blast showing you through the latest update of the lab and the touch. If you have any comments, suggestions for future updates, yeah, put it in the comment. Put it down below. Yeah. And if you've made it this far to this video, keep scrolling if you want some more music. Absolutely. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Cheers. If you've made it this far, we make amazing tutorials and videos about MPE controllers. We also have our own MPE controller called the E-Ray Touch. Feel free to check it out on our website, www.embodme.com.